eat her with this? Apparently. Why didn't he use this one? The fight started here. I would have grabbed this. It's heavy enough. Would have been perfect. Instead, he crossed all the way over there. E.G., Evan Gilday. So Monk figured that Mr. Gilday, not wanting to destroy one of his own pieces of art, grabbed the other statue. And that's when you began to focus on the defendant. Yes, sir, that's correct. Thank you, Captain. You're welcome. Your witness. <clears throat> That's a great story, Captain Stottlemyre. I won't take up too much of your time. I just have a few questions. Your consultant, Mr. Monk, is he a trained psychologist? No, no, but he's a lot smarter than any psychologist I've ever met. Well, yeah, you have to be, having never met my client, to know that my client would not use one of his own statues as a murder weapon. That was just a theory, a theory that led us to a substantial amount of other evidence. Okay, we'll get to that other evidence a little bit later. I would like to know, if we could just back up for a little bit, how was Mr. Monk able to divine where the fight started? Where the fight started? Where it started. How did he know, for example, the fight did not start in, say, the foyer? Um... I'll have to consult my notes. Were you there when the fight started, Captain Stottlemyre? No. Was your friend Adrian Monk there when the fight started, Captain Stottlemyre? No, he was not. Isn't it possible, Captain Stottlemyre, isn't it possible that the fight could have started in the foyer? Yes, it's Good possible. Good job. I think we're done. Let's move on to something else, shall we? Mr. Gilday, where were you last night around 9 o'clock? I was here all night. I was working. Were you alone? No. I was with her. Mr. Monk, are you okay? I'm fine. You were making a noise. I don't think so. Could you read that back, please? Witness, the defendant removed a sheet revealing a naked... Of course. Clock. Excuse me? A clock in your studio. It's 20 minutes slow. And that popsicle is half melted. Your freezer must have been off for a while. You, you blew a fuse. A fuse? Wait, you're right. I remember I was plugging in my coffee maker. No, 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 no. No, no, it wasn't a coffee maker. You were using something much bigger. There's a heavy duty extension cord in there. It is the only thing in your studio not covered with dust. You were using some, some kind of tool. A jackhammer. You killed her, you drove back here this morning, you chopped up all of the marble with the jackhammer before Sergeant Carney arrived. It wouldn't have taken you more than an hour. I chopped it all up. You're in the middle of nowhere, nobody would have heard you. And then what? Where did I put it? Two tons of marble. Oh, oh, maybe I ate it. No, no, you didn't eat it. We're standing on it. It's a jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's a jungle out there.